Let's head to Mr. Hal for an announcement. Hey there, Mustangs. We are well into second quarter, and it is time to get your second quarter mastery tracker all set up. Some of you have kept using your first quarter mastery tracker, and in many cases, you can see the correct grades there. However, um, because schedules changed a little bit, and actually we've needed to change some of the links and formulas on those, form uh, on those spreadsheets, um, I need you to set up a new one. And the second quarter has some new features you might appreciate and get to watch on a daily basis. So I'm going to walk you through those steps. I would invite you to do this today or at least sometime during this week so that you have access to your grades. And with the second quarter mastery tracker, it's also going to show you things like um, your attendance and how early you were for each class. So let's take a look on how to set that up and you can follow along on your Chromebooks. Ready, set, go. As was done during the first quarter, you can actually make your mastery tracker by going to Google Chrome on your Chromebook. When you're here, you can type in tinyurl.com slash, it looks like it's going to fill it out for me, slash WL for Westlake Mastery Tracker. That's the fastest way to get there. You can also go to our website, westlakestem.org, click on the Mustang Room page, and on the right side, it'll have a link to Student Mastery Tracker. So it'll bring me to the same thing that you did last um, quarter. Here is a place where it's going to say, do you want to make a copy? And yes, I want to make a copy. It will start off being blank and I need to fill it out. The first thing I'm going to change is I'm actually going to change right up here um, what I'm going to call it. I'm going to make sure it's my name, Mr. Howe, and I'm going to do second quarter because it is the second quarter. So I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm a little bit sluggish here. Um, then you'll come right down here like you did first quarter and make sure you put down your student ID number. You put it there, you can even, oh, I did it backwards. <laughs> first you put your name, and then you'll put your student ID number. And after that, you're gonna need to pick each of your teachers. I am in Mr. Armantrout's first period class. Then I've got Mrs. Bigelow. Um, I also have, Let's see here, Mrs. Bullman for my third period. Scrolling down a little further, I believe in Mrs. Brundages for fourth period, and I'm Mr. Gonzalez for fifth period. Now, you may have noticed while I was filling that out that some data over here appeared on the right that was not there during first quarter. Those are some of the new features that are really worthwhile to you. The first column just shows you your overall average of proficiency in each of those classes. It's the same data that's on each of the individual tabs, but sometimes it's nice to be able to see it all in one spot. To the right of that, you're going to see um, a column with either a time or the word tardy or the word absent. That is my attendance status for today. So it shows that today I was 3 minutes 45 seconds um, before the tardy time for my first period. I was actually tardy on my second. I was a minute 9 before the tardy time on third, 2.23 for fourth, and 38 seconds for fifth. So it's kind of nice for you to get, get to see. Remember, the more time early you are, the more crazy points are getting credit to your account. We credit those every single day. So for that first period, that was pretty good. I got about seven crazy points just for getting to the class three minutes, 45 seconds early. After that, it's about the same as usual. Um, when I go to my first period, it should fill in the data for me. Sometimes there's a little box you need to click that says allow access and then it will put the data in. But it should give you the data pretty quickly. It shows how I've done on each of the assessments and it shows what my overall average is. That's my first period for math. I go to my next one and see my health class. And you can even see up here that it is showing, um, unlike it did last quarter, what my um, attendance status was for that class period. Third period, I can see the same kind of thing, fourth period, and so forth. So this is a great tool for you get to use throughout the quarter um, to be able to know on a daily, moment-by-moment -moment basis how you're doing with your proficiency in those classes and also to get to know where your attendance is for each day. Hope that helps. Make sure yours is set up and that you are checking it every single day. Thank you.